Hello, this is Nick from Community Builder and this is tutorial number eight. In the previous tutorial number seven, we had added a new field, a gender field, which was a radio uh, button field. And we actually published it also in, the, uh, in our user list. So we see each row here has a gender field, male or female. And we showed you how you can search actually for all the males or all the females. Female, female. Okay, now let's go a step further now. And instead of showing on a profile the gender female, instead of showing the word female, let's just show one of those gender symbols. So the first thing you want to do is find a symbol, a symbol image. I found two of them here, a gender female and a gender male. And what I want to do first of all is go to the back end and actually upload those images into my media manager. I basically put them in the root folder images root basically and what I want to do then is just to upload choose the files let me find these files one second tutorials video blogs here we go male female and male choose these upload them there we go, we have them here. So I have those in place. Now what I want to do is go to my gender field. There we go. It's CB underscore gender. Edit this and go to the parameters profile value layout. And what I want to do here is actually put in a substitution and here's what I'll be hold on a second just grab it over so you can see it basically this is the substitution I want to put this part here and what this basically does is let me just copy paste it first okay and let's go back and read first of all let's read what the tooltip says it says optionally input substitution supported value layout on profile view. Layout determines how a field value is rendered on display. Substitution in the field's value with value. Okay, so basically if I put left bracket value right bracket, it'll just put the word male or female in this case. Uh, but since Community Builder is waiting to see this value used in the substitution. If it doesn't find it, it'll basically null out whatever we're doing and revert back to the value clause. So that's why the first thing I'm doing here is actually including left bracket value, right bracket in an HTML comment. So this way the community builder code will see that the substitution has the value brackets in it and will continue doing things correctly. But this will not show up in the profile because it's commented out, HTML code commented out. So the next thing we have is some community builder if substitution. So I'm basically saying if CB gender is male, then I want to show the images gender male PNG on the profile page. If the gender is female, then I'll show the female image. Okay. More for more about CB substitutions you can find in the community builder use cases substitutions tutorial in this URL. So we basically substituted this 
in the profile value layout. Let's put the same exact value, same exact substitution in the user list <coughs> layout. <coughs> okay, now let's save this. If I go back to the front end here and refresh one of my profile pages, we'll see the gender. It doesn't show female anymore. It just shows the female symbol here. And if I go to my user lists and do a refresh, same thing. I'll see I have gender, male, female, female, male, and so on. It's pretty cool and fairly easy to do. Now let's take this a step further. Let's assume I don't want to show you know, the whole gender row here. I would just like this symbol actually to be placed next to the formatted name here. It's pretty simple to do actually. I go back to Community Builder again. I find the formatted name field. Here it is. And what I do here is again just for the user list this time. Let's paste the same code I had. This time let me remove the comments from the value. So if this is done right now what it'll do is it'll display the formatted name value followed by the gender symbol. Let's do a save. Go back to our user list, refresh. There we go. Pretty cool. Now I can go back and remove the gender symbol from my user list. So I go back community builder, list management, member list, columns, and I'll just remove this gender field. But keep in mind if I remove this, then I won't be able to search by the gender field since it's not on the user list directly. Okay, so I'll remove it, save, go back, refresh. Cool. Now if I do a search users, I see I can still search by the views, but the gender list field doesn't appear anymore for searching. So this is quite simple, but it's a little more advanced than the previous tutorial, so you might want to go and take a look at uh, the tutorial use case on Joomlapolis. Let me just find that for you. It's basically support, tutorials, use cases, and using substitutions throughout CB. This is the whole article and has various operators and various usages. Okay, well, thanks for listening to tutorial number eight. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.